Hi, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at seven segment display. It is a type of display that is composed of seven segments to form a number or a letter. Each segment is basically an LED. I have here a four digit seven segment display module from Gorilla Cell. It has four pins. Namely, ground for the ground pin, VCC for the supply voltage, DIO for the data control signal, and clock pin which is for synchronization when you need to connect it to another set of 7 segment display. For this experiment, we will be needing of ESP32 development board which I already attached at the top of Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, a 4 pin, female to female DuPont jumper wires, and of course, the 7 segment display itself. Now let me assemble our demo circuit by attaching the DuPont jumper wires to the 7 segment display according to the color coding which is black for the ground red for the bcc yellow for the dio pin and white for the clock pin next attach the other end of the dupont jumper wires to the esp32 shield by matching the colors of the dupont jumper wires to the colors of the esp32 shield pin headers so that is black to black, red to red, yellow, and other colors to the yellow. For this experiment, I choose GPIO 21 for the DIO and GPIO 22 for the clock pin. So I will attach it here. Next, attach the external power supply of the ESP32 shield using an external power supply with type C USB cable like this. So we'll attach it to the ESP32 shield and make sure that the power switch is slide to the on state. Next, connect the ESP32 to the computer by attaching a micro USB cable to the ESP32 development board. I will attach it. Our demo circuit is now ready. For the software part, we will be using the Tony Python IDE as the MicroPython environment. Now let your computer detect the ESP32 by clicking the stop button. And when you see the triple greater than sign, it means that Tony Python IDE detects the ESP32. Now, in order for us to easily use this seven segment display, we need a driver library. Luckily, MCoser provides us a fantastic library named MicroPython TM1637. For this tutorial, I prepared three examples. Example number one will be used to demonstrate and to show you the basic functions we can do in order to use the seven segment display. So let me hit the run current script button and we can use one by one. Let's say for this one, copy this one to write a string which will write a character ABCD to the seven segment display just like this one we just need to use our show function then input the string that we want to print let's say em let's show vip like this one another one could be a cafe which will display the cafe words on the seven segment next to write a number 
use the tm dot number function. Let me copy this one and paste it here in the REPL. We can use the decimal point by just adding a comma in between two numbers. So let's use this one, tm dot number. So this will make 12 colon 34. Ah, it should be tm numbers 1234. Okay. So it should be numbers. And I don't know if this one is okay. I will just add in here S. Yes. Let's use this one. Which is this one is still the same because the third value here in the numbers function specifies that the colon should be activated or enabled i will hit enter if you set it false it will turn off the the colon in between here i will hit enter and the colon is turned off we can also display a scrolling text when you need to display more than four digits you can use the scroll function. So let's copy this one. Using the scroll function. It will display a hello world in the 7 segment while scrolling. Now if we need to control the speed, we need to provide a second value in the scroll function. So that is... The second value, which is 1000, is the delay in between the scroll interval. So let's say it's, then it will scroll after 1000 milliseconds. I will hit enter, which should scroll every 1000 milliseconds. So to speed it up, we need to wait first until it exits. It is a blocking program. Okay, it exits. So let's divide it to 4. Let's say 250 milliseconds. So that's fair enough. So it will speed up. I will hit enter. And the scrolling is much faster we can also display all the possible characters that can be displayed in the seven segment using this command i will hit enter which will display all the possible characters to the seven segment display while it's scrolling so to display a temperature, there is a function which is temperature. By the way, TM is the object we use, as you can see here, TM. So this is the seven segment object which is connected to GPIO pin 21 and 22 using the TM1637 class from TM1637 library. So let's go back here. So this temperature function can be applied and display from negative 9 degrees Celsius up to 99 degrees Celsius. If less than negative 9, it will be LO degree Celsius. If more than 99, it will be displayed as high degree Celsius. So let's try. Let's try displaying this one, which will display negative 9 degrees Celsius. Or we can display the maximum, which is 99 degrees Celsius. Or we can display outside the value or outside the range. 
So this will display LO. Even even though we displayed negative 10. Or we can display high if more than 99 degrees Celsius. And for the last function that I can show you, there are other functions available in the library. But these are, I think, basics that you can use immediately. So the last possibilities is for controlling the brightness. So there is a function brightness from the library which is can accept from a value of 0 to 7. So let's specify value of 0. So this will dim the current brightness of the 7 segment. I will hit enter. And as you can see, the 7 segment display is dimmed or the brightness is lowered. You can set the maximum using by supplying a brightness value of 7. So that's for the example number 1. Let me hit the stop button and let's go to example number 2. So this example number 2 is very simple. We will just count from 0 to 19 using this function and after it reaches the 19 it will count down from 20 down to 1 it will not reach 0 because this is excluded the second value in the range function is excluded and it will decrement by 1 so let me hit the run button it will count up to 19 and it will count down back to 1. Then it will count up again from 0 to 19. It will indefinitely loop until we hit the stop button. So let me hit the stop button to stop the, the current running program. So for example number 3. This is much interesting because we are going to display a clock. To use the built-in internal clock or built-in real-time clock module, we use this from machine import RTC. Then we created an object from the RTC class. Then this one is same as in the previous. Using the RTC object, we set up the current time. So I will change this one. The format of the date time, we need to input year, month, day, weekdays, which begins from 1 up to 7, while 1 represents Monday and 7 as Sunday. Then hours, minutes, seconds and subseconds we begin by getting the current time and save it in the e variable after we get the current date and time which is in tuples we parse the r and minutes only this one is r and this one is minute and this one will specify the colon is active or inactive and the blinking of colon is every 200 milliseconds so this just inverts the current value of is point variable let me change the current date time the year is 2021 the month is february the day is 2 and weekday is Tuesday, so this one should be 2. The R is 7 plus 12, it's 19. It uses a military time. Time is 44. 
and ignore the other value. Let me save this one and I will click run current script. So now the time is 19.44 or 7.44 p.m. The RTC of the ESP32, the built-in real-time clock of ESP32, is pretty much accurate. I don't know if we leave it for one day or one week, if it will drag to a different uh, date and time. Later on, when we tackle the RTC module of Gorilla Cell, we will use again this seven segment to display the current time which that one is pretty much the same for this built-in rtc of the asp32 i hope you learned something from this and if you have any question regarding this video write it in the comment box provided please do hit the like and share and if you are new to this channel be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.